As we looked around the web this morning, we found a few reasons for Ben Tracy. Hello, Ben Tracy. Hello. To join us at the table to make some long story short, so let's get started. Forbes.com says, if you want to get ahead at work, smart is good, but guess what? Nice is better. Scientists at Carnegie Tech found 85% of financial success is due to the ability to communicate, negotiate, and lead. So think EQ, not IQ. I like it. I like that, too. According to the ledger in Lakeland, Florida, retailers expect Mother's Day spending to increase by 14% from last year. The average person will spend about $153 on gifts, which means I need to spend more. <laughs> you need to spend more, or moms like it if you make us something. There you go. Note to self, then. We like handmade stuff, really. The Washington Post reports on a terror error, if you will. 18-month-old Rihanna and her parents will were told, rather, to get off a JetBlue flight in Fort Lauderdale. A JetBlue employee thought that Rihanna, look at Rihanna, was on a federal no-fly list. Did we mention she's 18 months old? Yeah, we did. The family is of Middle Eastern descent, JetBlue says. It was all a computer glitch. She's awfully cute. Here is something we can all understand working these early morning hours. Britain's Daily Mail says if you're sleep deprived or you're overweight, you might have something called social jet lag. That's when your body's internal clock is disrupted by hectic work and social schedules. Mm -hmm. Doctors say you get less sleep and then you're more likely to smoke, drink and overeat. <laughs> so how can you solve this problem? Spend more time outdoors in the daylight. Uh, I'm game. That's good advice. I'm we game. could go for a walk later. Yes, Chris, I'm leaving now to go outside. Britain's Independent looks at Britain's Independent, let's try that again, looks at the latest use for Botox treating migraines, they say. British regulators are expected to approve Botox to treat chronic migraines. You only qualify if you have headaches at least 15 days a month, wow, including eight migraines. And yesterday, the LA Times had new information on a news story we covered right here on Long Story Short about a dentist in Poland who apparently took revenge on her ex-boyfriend by pulling out all his teeth. That's one way to do it. Turns <laughs> out the story is a hoax. A little digging found the people in the story don't even exist, and police say they have no record of the crime. That's one way to get revenge. We should say that story went everywhere. Everybody reported on that, including interviews with people. It turned out all to be not true. So that's good. There's a guy walking around. He's got his teeth. Glad we cleared it up.